anyway, I thought since it's now May, the New Zealand's music month, we may as well start talking a little bit about music. And the funniest side of music because, well, last week's podcast was just so dull compared to what we usually do. I, I, I wouldn't really call that dull. Um, it was well, serious. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot more serious and there's a couple of things that I want to bring up because it is May. Mm. And that um, there's um, a lot of international months that we, we want to bring up. Oh, such as? Um, it's International Salad Month. Oh, yum. I love salad. Um, it is also um, International Photography Month. Click, click. Click, click. Selfie. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. What's the difference between a selfie and a picture? Oh, I don't know. The selfie is done by yourself. A picture is done by anyone, including yourself. So a selfie is a type of picture. Yes. Yeah. Um, and th- th- there's a meme going around at the moment. The Belfie? No, 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 no. It's um, usually when it comes to May, it's it's gonna be May. Oh, in sync. Yeah. Actually, yeah, uh, I need to. These days, I really do need to consciously slow down with my speaking because whenever I hear myself on the podcast, I'm always thinking, you speak too fast and you sound ugly. Well, well, I do that naturally. Really? So Uh, when you listen to yourself, you think, oh, I sound ugly. No, 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 no. I I mean, that is Kiwis. Yes. We normally speak too fast anyway. Oh, right. So, in a podcast sense, I am deliberately slowing my voice down. I need to do that as well. I do that when I'm explaining things, yeah. and that comes through, but whenever I'm just giving quick replies, I'm, I'm like, what did I say? Yeah. Uh, and That's uh, bad. <laughs> and also, since we're in a ru- we are in a rush today, oh, yes. it, it's just add, it's adding on top of that. Oh, well, we're, we're fine. I mean, we just need to arrive at uni before four and, and it's only a 10 minute walk right yeah yes so we so there's just enough time to do one full podcast no edit for you for you this time yeah unless i laugh in which case yeah yeah, yeah but it's, it's it's going to be limited editing so it's not too bad anyway this is the as you undecided podcast with your conflicted host sophie and mike or mike and sophie i have still i still don't have any idea about which way we should do it yeah. Well, it's usually Mike and Sophie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was purely one, an aesthetic choice, and two, we, it was just what we came up with. Yes. I The reason why I did it was because M comes before S. Oh, and so we, just... when you're naming things, you usually, usually do it in alphabetical order, especially if you do things in APA or law citations. Well, that's true. And unfortunately, that eventually got to me. Oh, there, there. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Then again, I've seen a lot of podcasts that actually do name them in alphabetical order. Yeah. No, so we just do it subconsciously, right? Yeah, correct. So, um, the Green Brothers, what are they? Uh, Hank John. and John. Hank and John. Yeah. But do they usually say Hank and John or John and Hank? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot off the top of my head. But it's fine. How was your week? It, it was pretty good, actually, as it turns out in the end. The second half of my holidays was a lot more chill than, than the first half because I just allowed myself to relax a little bit. Yeah. Then I had a bit of a mental breakdown, but that was a very small blip. Yes. In terms of the whole goodness of the week, so. Yeah. It's, uh, and... Can't complain. And for people um, in the podcast, if you had to describe Sophie's jacket mm. today. Yes, it's a coat. It's a coat. No, no, I mean your sweatshirt. Oh, your jumper. jumper. Your jumper. I would consider that to resemble a red velvet cake. Oh, yes. <laughs> my jumper tastes disgusting <laughs> yeah um my week was alright um I, I'm still getting a few funny looks in regards to the eye the permanent wink the permanent wink I sometimes forget to notice that now uh, we, see, we see each other so often it's just oh Mike has a permanent wink 
It's part of him now. Yeah, it's like like when it, when it's holidays, that's fine. Mm. But um, in a uni sense, we probably see each other about three times a week, at least. Yes, we see each other more than most people. Yes, as we're not even dating. No. <laughs> what no. you need to do is paint an eye on your eyelid. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. I I see what you mean. And actually, I brought an eye patch. Oh really? It's so, it's. You're a pirate now. This is not an eye patch, mate. That's uh, sleeping. I know, but I'm using it as an eye patch. It's huge though. You you only need one half slice for your eye. Dude, not cool. Oh, okay. You need one that actually looks sufficiently piratical. Piratical? Piratical, yes. Oh, okay. W- w- was that a deliberate pun or is that actually a word? That is actually a word. A okay. piratical, yes. Do that to denote that's something that's pirates like or something that's pirates use. Yeah. Yes. Which, of course, uh, well, as, lo- as long as I've known Mike for, he has never been piratical, but he has always loved rap music. It seems to be inherent in him. Well, well, f- for a segue, that was pretty bad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad segue, but, but today is dedicated to do hurried b- bad segues because we are actually in a hurry. Yes. So, please forgive us for this. I think this should be turned into a meme. But anyway. <laughs> I, how so? I don't know. Isn't that how memes are made? When people make billy, when people make silly, funny mistakes? Not really. Uh, sometimes. Epic fail memes? We're, we're the stuff of epic fail memes, okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um... So, why rap music? Why... Have you selected rap music? Because we needed a light podcast topic, something that doesn't need a lot of research. You know a lot about rap music, and we've had lots of funny conversations surrounding it. Well, of course. Conversations, yes. Uh, 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 of course. It, it, it seems that during this, the, the life of the podcast... Yes. You, you, uh, you know, you're trying to get to know me and my interests a little bit more. Yes. Yes. Oh, why not? That's that's what friends do. That's oh, what friends do. yeah. Well, well, usually just pe- people just stalk your Facebook page, and that's about it. I well, stalking Facebook pages seems to be a little bit too lazy. And well, the problem with Facebook is that you put on the best mask of yourself. Yes. And so that means that I can't know about your naughtier habits. Oh, thanks. Or your anime preferences. You seem to keep your anime preferences off the radar. Oh, of course, of course, because people would think that I was a otaku. There's nothing wrong with being a geek or an otaku, and yet people seem to be rather prejured against them. Yeah. I know, because I suffer from the same problems. Yeah. As a a woman, as a female gamer. Yeah. Oh, yes. All the struggles of being a female gamer and an otaku in the Western world. Yes. No wonder why we bond so well. Fist bump. That was... That that, that first... Firstly, that the first fist bump that we just had was that horrible. It pretty much resembled our friendship in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surely our friendship isn't that horrible. Yeah, I, I know, but it's like it was like a deliberate miss, and then we we, 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 we corrected it. Again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, you like listening to rap music. And when I'm at the rest home, what they usually do is play music from another from the old people's era and it's music they like to listen to. Okay, so like in reference to the rest home. Yes. Um, are we talking nineteen fifties? We're talking nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties, sometimes even stretching back to nineteen forties. Okay. Yes. The music is rather sedate. Yeah. Rather swingy, rather innocent. Yeah. And it just talks about happier things in life. Yeah. When it's time for you to retire, they'll be they'll have to play rap music. Ha! Huh. I've had this constant um, thought in my head that you, you know when you get there at retiree age and you and you listen to the wireless mm-hmm. and Eminem starts playing in the background. Yes. <laughs> 
And you're rocking along in your rocking chair to the beat of m and rapping. Yeah. His arms are sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had that recurring thought. It's like, you, this type of music you listen to, it's not really for the sedate, is, isn't it? Is yeah. it? Yeah. No. So they're talking about breasts, sex, money. Well, Young uh, people's pursuits. Yeah, well, especially in the 80s and 90s. Mm. Um, it was about that. Mm-hmm. Be- because it, it was the thing to do. It, it also seemed a lot more relatable. Right. Thing is, what will happen if you play that play it as a rest home? You mean now? Oh, and when you get to your age, or rest home age, in say, 40 years time? It'd be like, oh, this is my strawberry jam. (laughs) (laughs) That's a bit embarrassing though, like uh, you're just there on continents and you're listening to things that, you know. Yeah, um... This seems to be a huge disconnect and I, I would find that extremely hilarious when that time comes. People may go that, and people may say that, um, maybe a little bit disgusted over it. Yes. Yeah, if it was 40 years from now and that was played. Mm. But just like the 1940s music. Yes. It was another time. Yes. And I hope that, um, as we talked about SJWs, mm. um, I, I hope that they they would think of they would think of that before c- coming to outreaching conclusions. So, for example, rap music's bad for rest homes. No, well, no, I, I'm not saying that, but because of the lyrics in the rest home, <laughs> forty years from now, pe- people may think is that, oh no, they're playing rap music in the rest home. Oh no, they're talking about a woman's vagina more than her mind. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes, well, <laughs> can you imagine this playing throughout the rest time, like, grinding music? <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Um, yes. N- 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 now, now, just for the podcast, I have this mm-hmm. mental image in my head yes. of, of, of two people grinding over the age of 70, and, and they're just hitting the Zimmer frames. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you have to oh, does that sound? <laughs> no, 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 no. It, 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 it's fine. Um yeah. Oh yes. But, but but um like I'm very big on um the nineteen eighties, nineteen nineties rap. Yes. Um, especially after the LA riots. Okay. And and that was 25 years ago yesterday. Wow. Yeah. The LA riots, can you please give us some background on that? Um, the LA riots, um, well, um, it was all about race, mm-hmm. right? Um, it, it talks about Rodney King mm. was viciously beaten by four cops. Nothing new. Except people, except they're more likely to be shot than beaten up. I yeah. Admit now. Um, but it was the um, they were acquitted, mm. and it, and it was the first time um, there was vid- someone actually caught that on video. Oh really? Yeah, and the riots lasted for four days. Wow. Yeah. History repeats. Yeah, and like, like, cause I had, well, in in my democratic participation, we talked about e government, mm. and and that, and that was a big part of, um, the lecture. The rights. Yeah. Did t- t- talking about the embracing of new technology, so with the camcorder. Right. Or your mobile phone now. Yeah. Exactly. Um, cause like if you talk about, um, NWA, mm-hmm. um, that's, um, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, um, the, 
they they were quite influential mm. in, in the US rap scene and, and especially some of the time they were the, it was a mix between talking about the finer things in life like shaking your booty and all that sort of stuff yes. but it was also had um, very influential Christian rap elements as well so we're thinking um, Black Eyed Peas Where Is The Love yeah yeah but it was yeah okay. but it's just a lot faster alright oh, <laughs> because they are not necessarily known for their rap skills in, in popular culture no so how did the LA riots influence rap did it did more people rap about yeah. social things afterwards yeah. yes. okay Right. Before the LA riots, what did they rap about? Um, they were talking about just having a good time. And it's, especially with, um, uh, I'm referencing DJ Cool there, mm. um, the first album of Run DMC. Um, yeah, basically just rapping, having a good time. and That's what Lord was um, singing against in Royals, right? Yes. Well, kind of. Yeah. Well, she was singing against the aristocrats and just rich lifers in general. Black rappers are just part of it, along with Russian oligarchs. And the, um, no, I was just mean like going to your local club on a Saturday night and. Oh yes. Yeah. Crystal Maybach, diamonds on your timepiece, Blaine's <laughs> Islands, tigers on the gold leash. Are you going to edit that out? We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we are caught up in your love affair. Yeah. And Okay, so all right. So if if we were to, this is one of my favorite things to do. Why don't we create a stereotypical rap on the spot? Oh uh, no, 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 no. Um, I have no rapping skills. The only, the only things I like to rap about is presents. All right. Yeah. Um, no, I was thinking along the lines of what. Let's do a quick stereotypical rap. Say, is it something along the lines of? Booty, booty, money. Booty, alcohol. Booty, booty, whiskey. Booty, booty, cars. Booty, booty, booty. We're having a night out. Is that it, basically? Um, for the um, stuff before the LA riots. Yeah, but, 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 it, but it even... It, it, um, it, it's still a part of songs today. True. Even though I'm I'm going to be referencing stuff that happened ten years ago, mm -hmm. um, there's still the, the foundations of that are still there. True. Um, it's just becoming a lot more sophisticated in their wordplay. I see. Like so um, Hotline Bling, Bling, for instance. True. That wordplay is amazing. The 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 way the way that um the harmonics of the song and it actually just seemed oh uh, it's just an amazing song if you it, like the the deeper that you go in the song yes. the more meaning there's become from it then how come rap isn't usually considered an art form by snobs <sighs> Be because probably because that they like the status quo. Right. Hence the conservatives. The, yeah, so generally they would like classical music. True. Or um happier happier parts of pop. True. Oh well. But the funny thing is some of us I find classical music and rap music go really well together. Yes, um I am going to open up some links. Um, these are, by the way, um, remixes done by people who who are not monetizing off this. So, so long as we can actually uh, reference this, they'll probably be alright with it. So, Ridiculousness at Tumblr actually did this one. It's the mixture of... No, 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 no. No, this is a link. Emma Richbot. Sorry of Tumblr actually did this and it was because someone named Mr. Egbert asked them to remix Miss New Booty to Mozart's 40th. Okay. Shall we, okay. um, how do you increase the volume on this? 
on this computer? Um, well, you can't because of the USB mic. Oh, right, so you can't increase the volume. Yeah. Okay, so let's listen. Which means there's no sound. Yeah. I'll grab my computer. Okay, I'll grab my computer. No. Okay, d can you please just wait? I'll grab my computer. As Sophie is grabbing her computer, this podcast is, is brought to you by rap music. Booty, booty, booty. Booty, whiskey, booty. Booty, high class, alcohol, booty. Shake, shake, shake your ass for me. Bash your zimmer phones together. Titties, titties. Booty finish. Right. <laughs> uh, Drive.google.com. Yes. We use that. So, okay. So, uh, oh, do I have internet? No, I do not have internet. You need to actually give me the internet, please. Uh, we, we, we'll just carry on. Just. No, no, no. Seriously, where's your internet? Oh, where's my phone? Sorry. <laughs> you can edit this out, Mike. Yeah. yeah. Can you grab my phone from down there, please? Well, what? Where? Where? Down on the floor. Down, down on the floor? Seriously? I can't. Where's on the floor? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we... Thank you. Is this it? What, uh, K yeah. KQU? KQU 6E Y5 YU? Okay. Simultaneous session limit reached. That's why I need my phone. Where is my phone? Crap, crap, crap. Can we disconnect your computer, Sunset? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can you type in hello dot wi fi, please? Yeah. There you go. Hello dot wi fi? This one? Yeah. The one on top? Yeah. Log out. Click here to log off. Sorry, Mike. It's okay. 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 There you go. Click here to start browsing. Okay. Okay. Right, so. So now we have. Miss New Booty to Mozart's 40th. Now, do you know how Miss New Booty goes? Booty Booty around the world or something, rather? I've listened to this before. Okay, okay. Okay. Yes. Um, probably the most famous one mm. um, that is done on there is um, is Thick, When I Get You Alone. Because mm. that was done with um, Beethoven's Fifth. Really? Should I get that up? No, no. Cause uh, okay, he here's another one. Sorry, last one. So this is Nicki Minaj, uh, and I shall mute this. This is uh, Nicki Minaj's Starship with Patch Bell's Canon in D. So it's a little bit freaky, actually. It's probably one of my favourite ones, but uh, I'm just trying to wait for the advertising because this is, this is on YouTube. Okay, right. Let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. Have a drink? Link found the Bud Light. Bad like me. It's hard to come by. The Patron? Um, let's go get it down. The sound? Um, 
That was enough, right? Mm. Yes. What was that good? Uh, yeah, it's it's not as popular as because what what that's doing is sampling. Yes, well, still, it proves my point. Sometimes rap music and classical music go very well together. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll have to put up links to all the songs we were referencing, I suppose. Of course. Yeah, so what was the other one? Thick by what? No, um, Robin Thick When I Get You Alone. Robin Thick by When I... Oh, Blurred Th- Lines. I think I'm on Blurred Lines or whether he's actually a good person to listen to these days. It was from his first album. Before he went misogynistic? Yes. Oh, right. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Because <laughs> usually what you want to do with rap music mm? is that it's all about the, the music that you sampled. Right. Which is, which is so very important. So... If they're sampling music all the time, um, what's the most famous of the um, copyright spats? Um, well, there was the Blurred Lines one. Oh, yes. Um, and um, I had... Uh, and Vanilla Ice. And um, Queen. Yes. Ice, Ice Baby. bum ba da bum 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 yeah. bum ba da bum 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 Pressure! <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, and MNDM, he's suing the national government. <laughs> yes, yes. It was sort of funny um, listening to the case because the case is currently done at the moment. So, it, did MNDM win or did the national government win? No, no, it's still going. Okay, so they're still deciding. Yeah, because it's um, currently the third day of the six day trial. That's one strange case to listen to, I suppose. Yeah. Well, it's a bit like um, I've heard the other day a judge in the United States had to sort out the visitation rights of a parrot. <laughs> That's hilarious. So they had to. So basically, they were treat. Basically, they were treating a parrot like a baby or child. Yeah. So things were like, oh, the um, the couple had to have on alternating days. <laughs> um, no swearing in front of the parrot. <laughs> oh. So yeah. And especially with that case, uh, the, you know, people would think that Eminem was going to come down. It's like no, they're just going to get the executive producer. Oh. Yeah. To 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 do it, and uh. he actually um, did it on a he he did it unplugged. Unplugged as in as in got a acoustic. Guitar, yes, and did it in the courtroom. Oh, so the executive producer of that music came down to New Zealand. Yeah, because is the executive producer more important than the musician, or the other way around? Are we too important for the musician, or is the music- musician too important for us? Well, well, the executive producer oversees all of it. Yes. So the musician doesn't care, but the executive producer does. Or who brought along those charges? Was it Eminem that brought along those charges? No, or? it would have been the record company. Record company. So it's not really Eminem suing the national government. It was the ne- record company suing the government. Yeah. Right. But because, um, well, two things. Mm. Um, usually with that sort of advertising, you would add, or, or even when you're sampling. Yes. If it's still under copyright law. Yes. You, you, know, you either have to ask permission, so which means that any sort of profit would result in you getting a bit of the royalties. The cut, a cut. Yes. Mm. That's why um, most of the samples that are used when they do with classical music, it's fine. Yes. Because, it, well, the composers are dead, they don't care. Yeah. Have I told you about the Beethoven decomposing joke? No, but can I finish? Yes, continue, sorry. Or else, um, well, usually when they ask for the permission, the, the artist has the right to either accept or decline it. Right. Um, in this case, um, Eminem specifically didn't want 
it to be used in a political sense. Right. And because National is a political party, they were not party to the use yes. of the sample. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Mm. That reminds me of another particularly nasty case in regards to the Bittersweet Symphony by The Verb. They, you, they were using a sample with permission from, um, some, from a very big band, but they accidentally used too much of it, and they couldn't get any royalties from that song anymore because huh. they used the wrong part of the sample. I thought that was immensely unfair myself, but why don't you guys read up on that case? It's very interesting. Yeah. That's why I refuse to listen to that song anymore because out of spite of the people who now get the royalties. No. Oh. Mm. It's not going to help. I'm on Spotify, which means they're probably only going to they're probably only going to get a cent from me anyway, but still. No, yeah. screw you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and and one big artist that was very big on no one having the rights to his music at all. Who? And, until he died was Prince. Prince, okay. He, he he didn't like um um it being accessed digitally. Why doesn't he want anyone having access to his music digitally until he died? No, because they they're like they would want to, for uh, he wanted people to listen to the music the way it was intended. Right, and then after he died, he's like, I don't care anymore. Well, the people that run his estate, so I'm like. Yeah, we yeah we, we can put it on there now. We can so now all Prince Prince's stuff is on. <gasps> That's why. Yeah. Okay. I I have a bit of a story to tell you. Um, one of my one of my favorite remixes of a Prince song is Alex Clear's When Doves Cry. Oh yes. For a long long time, I couldn't hear it on Spotify. Yeah. But now I can. Yes. And I never quite realized it was because it. Probably because Prince died. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. But the thing was, I could listen to When Doves Cry on, by X Clear on Apple Music beforehand, though, so I'm not too sure why that ha- what that happened. Yeah. Maybe Apple was big enough to actually get, cut some sort of deal with the Prince's estate before he died, or maybe... Yes. Yeah. No. But anyway, that's the reason why I can now listen to Alex Clear's When Doves Cry. Yeah. Because Prince died. <laughs> wow. Copyright's so weird. Yeah. So last, well, we have to go now. Very, we have to go very soon, Mike. But yeah. last question: How long does pop music stay fresh for? Um. Have you heard of overplayed? Yes. Yeah, because usually when it gets to the point where it's overplayed. So it's not really about how long it's been released, but rather how many times it has been played. Yeah. So, um, last year, the most popular song streamed on Spotify was The Chainsmokers' um, Closer. Yes. And that was pretty much streamed a billion times, or yeah. almost a billion times. I think it's more towards 800 million, but I'll just double check right at this moment. But that would be overplayed, right? Yeah. No, wait a minute. I do not have, yeah. I do not have internet now. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Um... I think it's about 800 million times, but check out for Sophie's Corrections. It's um, back next week. And especially for um, for the people that are older than yourself. Mm. Um, I got sick of Alia. Yeah. And her song Try Again, because it was overplayed so many times. On the radio. Yeah, on the radio that I didn't actually like the song. Oh, yeah. Now, now, now I like the song. But back then, it was just that, that overplayed. I'm like, I don't like this song now. <laughs> How many plays then for pop song before, for pop or rap song before it becomes stale? I would think in this climate it'll be about 1.2 billion. 1.2 billion. Gundam Cell hit the 2 billion mark. Yeah, but that was, that, that one, it was an exception to the rule because it was a, it was a large worldwide mm. pop song. Yes. But when was the last time anyone played Gundam Style now? Can't remember. Exactly. Mm. I mean, it, it was really catchy at the time, and it's still a good song now, but... Just gone. Gone with, gone with the waves and the seas of time. Yes. Actually, do you think we have time for one more question? One more discussion? Mm. What is hipster music? 
What is hipster music? What is hipster music? I would think it'll be a song that is popular. Yes. That is outside of the mainstream playlist. Popular but not mainstream. Yes. How does that work? Now, now like, like, like for instance, um, the Ed Sheeran album. Right. Right. They would, they would like the only one song that hasn't hit the top. Does that make sense? I see. Yeah. Um, I made you listen to someone, someone called Radical Face. Yeah, but he could be hipster, I suppose. Yeah. So, like, like for instance, or even liking a song before. It's it hit went viral. Yeah. It, and especially when I was really deep into music, um. I I brought the, Usher album, mm. Confessions, which yeah. was a really big album, and the song I liked mm. the most was. Um, caught up yes and that one isn't that wasn't even released and until a couple months down the line oh yeah my goodness <laughs> so it has to be so perhaps the music has to be popular but it's not mainstream it straddles that very very thin fine delicate line yeah oh wow Oh well, I sh- we shall put up some music recommendations. And do you think we'll talk about music next week, or? Well, we'll, we'll, add, we'll add more to the conversation with um, Sophie's corrections and, the, and a few other things. Hmm. You can. Well, this time is for me, for you to quiz me. Ha, ah, Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, something about like Coldplay or rather. Yes. You know how much I like them. And how much you used to like them. <laughs> used to. Used to. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, if we're now getting into the depths of winter, so all we can say is stay safe, stay warm, and please don't catch the flu. This has been the As Yet Undersun podcast with the conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. It's actually Mike and Sophie then. Yep. Um, we are on what's our email? Ayu podcast at gmail dot com. Or... No, that's not our email, mate. Or as yet undecided podcast. At gmail.com. Yeah. And our Facebook? At AYU Podcast. Twitter? I think it's the same, isn't it? And Tumblr? And Tumblr? Yes, it's the same. Yeah. Whereas for us, you can contact us personally. I am at Sophie9709 on most platforms apart from Instagram. And as for you, Mike? You can contact me on The Manus, T H E M A R N U S, on all platforms. And stay safe. Have a good week. Stay healthy, people. Eat your, vi- eat your vitamins. Remember, it's National Vegetables Month.